I do not have a label on my forehead that says, hey, Brendan's your guy coming. And maybe people don't know a person with, who has had their head cracked a bit is, has uh, some deficits other people don't have. It is just not obvious. I had very, very thick bangs until I was 18, and then I got my eyebrow pierced because I wanted, I was tired of feeling crappy about myself, you know, and I wanted something in this area of my face to kind of show off. Mm -hmm. And the next day I cut my bangs off, and that was like the beginning of me kind of figuring out how to deal with the way I look. I can remember looking into the mirror and just looking, trying to look into the pools of my eyes to see if I could see somewhere down inside my soul, if I could recognize me, because I couldn't recognize me. I was totally a different person. Confusion, disorientation, seizures maybe. I'm dealing with cognitive changes, personality changes, mood swings, depression. I'm dealing with balance, dizziness. I might really struggle with overstimulation. I might have to really get lots of accommodations. I might need to take breaks all the time. I'm going to get fatigued far too much. Things are going to just overwhelm me really easily. I'm going to need a lot of changes in my life. If you just start, and that's just a list that I, with a really impaired memory, just rattle off in, in no time. My brain injury occurred 16 years ago, the result of a freak accident where a car jumped the curb and smashed a traffic sign against my head. This injury changed everything in my life and sent me on a journey I'm still on today. A journey to relearn what my brain can and can no longer do. It's a journey shared by millions of people who, like myself, have found their lives radically changed and often torn apart by a brain injury. I was stabbed, I lost a lot of blood. And when you lose blood, you lose oxygen to the brain and then all kinds of neurological deficits ensue, which in my case made me blind and talk funny. Where is the water? Back, back here. Yeah, all right, right. Okay, so this light, uh, light should come. I have no... Uh, shame about it. I, if I'm saying uh, meeting someone, hey Joe, I'm Dirk. I don't say, hey Joe, I'm brain injured. But if uh, it becomes a germane issue in the course of a discussion or a plan, I will uh, mention that. So it's just a straight under line. The, when the bark is overhead. Mm. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> Not the underground one. Yeah. Okay.